You're listening to The Corbett Report. Welcome, friends. James Corbett here, CorbettReport.com, coming to you in a conversation that's being recorded on the 9th of November, 2020. And, of course, everybody is always looking for the solution. And sometimes I think people tend to frame it in terms of the silver bullet solution that's going to overturn the existing monetary paradigm, drain the swamp, end the military-industrial complex, all in one swift fell blow and... Maybe all people will have to do is donate a few dollars or something like that, and it'll all be (laughs) finished. Uh, Newsflash, reality doesn't work like that, no. Uh, I think the real solutions are going to be a very long series of steps that we're going to have to take to lead us towards the promised land of uh, of freedom from the chains of slavery that have been woven around us over the course of generations. They are not going to be uh, cast off all in one blow. That's, I think, a a Hollywood predictive program that we've been given our entire lives. So what are those steps that we can be taking towards a system that is more like what we want to bring into view? That is the real question. And as I always stress, I have had dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of podcasts, interviews, videos, articles along these lines over the years that are collected under the solutions tag. Just click the solutions tag in the sidebar of CorbettReport.com and you'll see hundreds of hours of material that I've uh, put out over the years on this and the different things that we can do. One of which, one of the most important, is of course the idea of getting off of the fiat monetary paradigm, which really is the direct tie into the banking oligarchy that really pulls the strings of the political puppets. It ties into everything, and it is what enables the military-industrial complex through the printing out of these uh, fiat dollars out of nothing, which they use then to finance their wars, to bomb people on the other side of the world. And, oh, by the way, some of that, of course, is reserved for the police that they are arming at home in order to turn against the domestic population. It is all part of an enslavement grid, and the fiat currency paradigm is an incredibly important part of that. If you don't understand that, I would humbly suggest you go to CorbettReport.com slash Federal Reserve for my Century of Enslavement documentary, where I try to lay it out as clearly as possible, the swindle that has been implemented in the United States and pretty much every other country in the world over the preceding centuries. So as part of trying to get off of that enslavement grid, of course, one of the ideas that I keep coming back to is the idea of agorism, or agorism, depending how you want to pronounce it. And what is that? How do we implement that? How do we get off of this fiat money uh, system? It's, as I say, going to take a lot of steps to get from here to there. And one step that I would like to put in front of you today that is an easy step that I think we can all take this month is Black Market Friday. Now, if you were watching my recent uh, appearance on Declare Your Independence with Ernest Hancock, you will see the development of this idea that we had spontaneously on air about this Black Market Friday idea and blackmarketfriday.info that Ernest Hancock has had registered for a few years. And we thought, well, why don't we turn this into something? Because, of course, it's Black Friday is approaching in the United States and everyone knows this is the big day for shopping, but I guess you can't do that anymore. Are you going to go shopping on Amazon for your Black uh, Black Friday uh, uh, specials? No, of course not. Well, how can we do this and encourage people to trade outside of the fiat money paradigm through cash or barter or uh, uh, crypto or uh, community currencies, anything that gets around that system as it exists? What can we do to encourage that? And Ernest Hancock brought up agorist.market, which is a marketplace, a listing, essentially a Craigslist, if you will, for agorist businesses that are promoting agorist uh, ways of uh, of transacting with other people in accordance with the NAP, the non-aggression principle, and that will accept other forms of payment like crypto, like community currencies, like gold and silver and other things. So it's an excellent little website that is absolutely as simple as it can be. And I like that because there is no script, there's no bells and whistles, there's no possibilities for injects and tracking and you're being fed into the Google beast every time you visit the site or anything like that. It's a very simple website, so it looks very simple. It's not going to be the most bells and whistly, bang, wazzle-dazzle kind of site you've ever seen in your life. But I think that's a good thing and redounds to its favor. And I will let you go there as we are talking here to explore the site for yourself. But as as you do that, I would like to bring on the person who founded the site, Mike Swadek, uh, who, um, well, we'll find out a little bit about him and his background. Uh, it's his first time on the program. Mike, thanks for joining us today. 
Howdy, James. Pleasure. It is a pleasure to have you here to talk about this very good idea, an idea that deserves to be here. And uh, I want to talk about it in some more detail. So agorist.market. First of all, as I uh, as I observed on our recent conversation where we brought you in with, to talk with Ernest Hancock, I did say oh, I didn't even know dot .market was a top-level domain. Well, that's a great top-level domain for this. Agris.market, it does what it says on the tin. It's very simple. Uh, but tell us a little bit about this site, how it came together, what's the founding ethos for this, and uh, why, why it exists. Okay. Uh, a little over a year ago, I was looking for places where I could list my own agorist business. And I was quite surprised to not find any that were actually functional, you know, where I could actually place a listing, you know, say, hey, I'm out here. Here's my business. So, you know, I've been doing websites since, uh, let's see, about 1992. So I thought, well, OK, I can do that. And so bought the domain, set up a simple website and started just putting it out there, telling people, hey, tell people about it. You know, let's make this happen. So let's uh, let's talk about that idea of agorist business. You say you have an agorist business. What's your business and what makes it agorist? Okay, I sell uh, personal care products that have a high concentration of silver nanoparticles in them. Uh, I like to do business with trade, uh, crypto, cash, all forms of payments. So I'm definitely an agorist. Also, that particular product line is uh, something that the FDA kind of frowns upon if it's presented in the wrong way. So I have a cosmetic company, uh, PPM Silver Cosmetics, and all of my products have cosmetic uses. And so I guess I'm an agorist in several ways with that business. All right. So let's let's walk through people through this website. Uh, it is pretty straightforward, as I say, but when they get to the front page, they're going to see essentially basically a landing page just telling them, uh, you know, here's how to click on category, new listings, all listings A to Z. And one of the important things that it stresses here is that uh, these are for continuously selling non not individual items. Sellers accept various forms of payment outside the banking system Agorism respects the NAP, non-aggression principle. What is the NAP? Why is that important to the, the ethos of this site? Well, the non-aggression principle says basically you're not going to aggress against people. You're not going to rip them off. You're not going to threaten them. You're not going to do anything to harm others, basically. And that's an important aspect of agorism. Agorism is the counter-economy, but it's not about... Uh, things that cause any harm to anybody. That's outside the bounds. So tell us about the businesses that are listed here. Well, we're getting quite a few. We've got a lot of artists and people that are doing books and online publications and games and personal care products and teas and herbs and coffee and all kinds of things. There's quite a variety, really. And as I say, I hope people will at least browse through this. Just check out the listings. Um, you will see the corporate board is there because, of course, I do take crypto as well as other forms of payment for membership. So you can subscribe to the corporate report that way. So I am listed here, uh, as is, for example, Derek Bros, um, uh, uh, Freedom Phoenix, uh, uh, Pirates Without Borders, some other things that will be familiar to corporate report listeners. Um, so I hope people will just check through and see. And this ties in, as I say, to this idea for Black Market Friday to piggyback on the Black Friday idea. Um, but I'm not American. I know there are a lot of non-Americans in the crowd. Can you uh, explain to us non-Americans what is Black Friday? So, And then what is Black Market Friday? Okay. In the United States, we have a holiday called Thanksgiving. And it's basically when everybody gets together and with their family and doesn't social distance or anything. There's lots of hugging and things that go on. And we eat a lot. And then the day after, uh, Thanksgiving's always on Thursday. And the day after is Friday when it's one of the biggest shopping days of the year. It's the beginning of the Christmas holiday shopping season. So that's the significance of Black Friday as it is traditionally. Now, what we're looking at here is putting a spin on that, saying, okay, agorists, if you don't want to support the 
big corporate and banking system and all those things that agorism is not about, well, here's a place you can go find people to buy products and services from and spend your money where you know it will be put to good use instead of what a lot of the others do. Exactly right. So I guess... The idea here is to, as, as usual, ju- judo move this and take the energy from this Black Friday idea and use it for some uh, hopefully good purposes and waking a few people up to the, the real paradigm. So Black Market Friday, of course, again, as you say, the idea of, well, let's let's see if we can find a way outside of the, uh, the controlled fiat monetary system to buy something on that shopping di- holiday. And so I guess the hashtag to use would be Black Market Friday, and people should spread the word about this in whatever way they can on whatever platforms, controlled or free, that they happen to be on, and hopefully get some energy around this idea. And if they do that, um, the I guess the simplest way to share this would be blackmarketfriday.info, which Ernest Hancock has redirected to agorist.market. So if you put in blackmarketfriday.info, you'll land directly on the uh, agorist.market page and you can start browsing and shopping. And if you are a business owner who does accept some form of payment outside of the control paradigm, then please uh, consider listing yourself. How do people go about uh, listing their business here? Okay, if you're an agorist seller, uh, you'll see a uh, link in the main menu that says list for free. And there you'll find instructions on how to uh, provide your information and a little graphic to go with your listings. And then that listing will show up under one or two categories. It'll show up in the uh, the newest listings page. It'll show up in the alphabetized page for U.S. And also we have a new page for uh, outside the USA, anybody that's listing. And there we have it listed by country and then alphabetized within the country once we get enough to do that. We just had our first international listing from a company in Spain. Well, technically I'm international, but I'm online. So I guess that doesn't really, right. <laughs> it doesn't really count. Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, <laughs> as I say, I hope people will take this idea and run with it. Uh, this is, of course, uh, this agristop market is just one idea of the one way to implement this broader idea and it's something that needed to exist you saw that there well we need something like this so you created it so my hat's off to you for doing that because a lot of people will look and see that oh there that thing that i want doesn't exist oh well i guess i guess i'll just have to wait till someone comes along and does it no if you if you have the ability to do it you go out and do it and you create it and then uh, other people when they see that the need is there and they'll find you and this is how it works so i'm glad that you did that and put the energy into it but of course if other people want to uh, combine energies or or take this idea and run with it in a different way that's obviously on the table too but for right now i think black market friday is the way to generate some interest around this idea and get people thinking outside of the paradigm so i'm going to of course include the link uh, the links, all the links, all the relevant links in this, the show notes for our conversation today so people can start uh, start shopping. And I, I would like to ask for people to commit themselves to at least considering purchasing one thing on Black Market Friday from one of these agorist businesses, uh, whether it's a membership to, to, well, my site, sure, <laughs> or one of the other sites that are listed or a product of one of the businesses that are listed. And I'm assuming there will be quite a few more businesses listed between the time we're recording this and the time that this uh, Black Market Friday runs around. So there, I'm sure there'll be something there that you might actually consider purchasing, and I hope you would. And it seems like a trivial thing on the grand scheme of things. This is not going to end the New World Order, the Great Reset Agenda overnight. Of course it isn't. But unless we commit ourselves to taking even the smallest of baby steps, we will never complete the thousand-mile journey that we are all on right now. So I hope people will at least consider that. And uh, I myself will be purchasing something from one of these agorist businesses on Black Market Friday. Uh, in solidarity with this idea. So, Mike Swadek, I think that's going to do it for today, unless you have anything else to add about this site or what you would like uh, people to take away from this conversation. Uh, Only one thing. Some people's browser security systems is causing the redirect to not work from blackmarketfriday.info. If that happens to you, just go straight to agorist.market. 
Good point. Yes, actually, that is an increasingly important point because of all the uh, the SSL upgrades and things that have happened in recent years. A lot of browsers will not let you go to certain sites or will give you warnings and that kind of thing. Yes, if that happens, agorist.market is the easiest way to get there and it will take you directly there. I think we're going to leave it there for today. Mike Swadek, thank you so much for coming on today. Thank you.